She then claims that she was silenced and sabotaged. She does not name said company in the video or social media, and she wrote that it has been difficult for her to care for and feed her children. Did you see the pink sauce lady made a GoFundMe? Matt just sent me that. I was going to read about that. So apparently, the pink sauce lady is claiming that she is broke. I don't know how that's possible, considering she got a big payout from Dave's Gourmet or whatever it's called. Bill's Sauces, I forgot. I think it's Dave's Gourmet. I think I got it right the first time. So I don't know how she could possibly be broke now. She's claiming it's a faulty deal, I guess. I don't even have enough money to buy my kids food. Veronica Chef P was all over social media last summer thanks to her viral pink sauce condiment. It was bottled botulism. And it did pop off. That, that much is true. Thanks, Geode. I use Redkin. And yeah, of course I'll do more Dark and Darker. I'm a big fan. Welcome aboard, Dusty. Thanks for a long time of watching, Montgomery. And Billy. The bubblegum-hued condiment was a concoction that Shaw devised in her kitchen while working as a private chef in Miami, often finished her TikTok videos by slathering whatever she cooked in the mystery pink sauce. Although Shaw never revealed the sauce's ingredients, her followers demanded it. So she began selling the sauce for $20 a bottle, which quickly sold out. As orders quickly came in, the backlash followed. Customer complaints about inadequate food packaging and alleged contamination began to damper the hype around the viral sauce. What an understatement. She was shipping biological weapons. All of the ingredients that were listed on there, minus the chemical X of her secret formula, were all highly insufficient for long-distance trans transportation in hot temperatures. It, it was a disaster. Truly. Which I think helped propel it into the mainstream even more. And no, I still stream on Twitch occasionally. Like, even earlier today I was streaming on Twitch. I do both. Did you hear about the person who got a spear thrown at their car in Texas? I did not. It's fucking wild, though. Welcome aboard, Warlock. Thanks, Fiction. And Gallon. The most significant blow was when Shaw went live to address followers, questioning if her sauce was FDA approved. She responded, What do you mean FDA approved? I don't sell medical products. Yep. I remember all of this. And no, I didn't see that digital announcement at all, Deep. In January 2023, Delish announced that Shaw had partnered with Dave's Gourmet. The condiment company added pink sauce to its portfolio, selling it on Walmart.com and in 4,000 locations nationwide until July. Which was a shocking development. Because again, this got so big because it was basically shipping poison. It'd be great for assassinations... But as for actual sauce, probably not wonderful. We actually did buy a bottle of it in order to see how yucky it would be. Not to taste it, but to like put it to the test. Like take a Geiger counter to it, see how radioactive it is. See if it could be used to take the paint off of one of our cars due to like really high acidity or something. See if it could replace acetone. But we never ended up doing it. We still have the pink sauce somewhere, fermenting, like a fine wine. Thanks, HD, and welcome, Clef. Hope you're enjoying your forham- or er, Jesus, your Warhammer painting. I haven't seen enough from the South Park game to tell you. Seems like an odd direction to take it. The sauce was now in a new bottle, providing the standard nutrition and ingredient facts. Walmart.com also stated that Shaw's pink sauce is made at an SQF and FDA approved facility. Cool. Okay, here we go. On August 17th, Shaw took to her Instagram announcing the launch of her GoFundMe page and asking for financial assistance. She alleged that a partnership left her in financial ruin. As a young entrepreneur with big dreams, I followed my intuition and went forth 
toward my dreams to create something new. I made a few mistakes on the way, which led me to trust a company that is trying to take uh, trying to take everything away from me. They lied to me. They are not paying me and are not being transparent about records. I have tried on multiple occasions to try and come to one accord with them, but they refuse to reimburse me for marketing ex- expenses that I spent my own funds towards. That's not surprising to hear at all. I don't know enough about Dave's Gourmet, but there are tons of shady companies that'll take advantage of young people selling shit, give them the worst deals ever. This is a deal they shouldn't have even made in the first place, though. Pink Sauce was an absolute disaster. And I guess she didn't have anyone look over the contract or anything, so she got roped into a terrible deal. I don't know what that game... Oh, QWOP. I was wondering what game you were talking about, Billy. And I haven't played No Man's Sky. Welcome, Coffin. She then claims that she was silenced and sabotaged. She does not name said company in the video or social media, and she wrote that it has been difficult for her to care for and feed her children. I don't know how that's possible, though. Even if she did get the worst deal of all time from Dave's Gourmet, and I'm assuming that's the company she's talking about because that's the one that bought her pink sauce concoction, that that alchemy, I, I, I don't know how she would lose all of her money on it considering Dave's Gourmet picked up all of the production costs. And it's not like it takes a lot of money to go live on TikTok and say, hey, my sauce is in Walmart. So how the fuck did she lose all of her money? I don't see where it goes here. Unless there's like some clause in the deal she signed with Dave's where he has access to her bank account or something. That's a tough question to answer, Nalo. I have no idea. Sleep well, bread. And I haven't seen the new Netflix One Piece behind the scenes. I work at Walmart and they advertised that her sauce was in the store. Yeah, no, it had a big marketing push when it made it to Walmart. I know. Which is why I'm saying, again, like, it's not like she paid for that. That would have absolutely been on Dave's Gourmet. So I don't know how the fuck she lost all of her money in this bad deal. I need legal help. They are refusing to pay me the royalty that is owed to me. I don't know what else to do. I can't give up. I need help. So if it's not paying her the royalty, how is she actively losing money? If it's just the royalty on sales. Welcome aboard Axiom and Twisted. She probably got sued by someone that got sick from eating the biohazard. No, she didn't. That lawsuit would have been highly publicized. It probably would have been like a class action lawsuit. There would have been a ton of victims coming forward all claiming that they got violently ill. Even if they didn't, they would have absolutely come forward and said they did. So I don't think that's the case at all. Shaw also claimed the company is removing her Instagram posts where she's outing them. Hmm. That might... That might very well be the case. But I just don't know what marketing expenses she endured. Again, it's it's completely free to go live on TikTok or post Instagram videos about your sauce. Cost no money. Solid ducky, thank you. I appreciate it, Mike. Hey, Jason. And welcome, Chunky. I haven't watched the Destiny Showcase yet, so I don't know if you missed anything. And we went over the Space Laser Hawaii- or Maui conspiracy already. I've been silenced and financially sabotaged. I'm a single mom and do everything for my kids. Right now, I don't even have enough money to buy my kids food on my own. My mom is on disability and has been giving us $20 just to get by on a daily basis. School is a few days away. I haven't been able to get my kids clothes or anything. I'm currently facing an eviction that has gone into default. The sheriffs can come to my door any day now. I need legal help. They're refusing to pay me the royalty that's owed to me. I don't know what else to do. I can't give up. I need help. Horrible story to hear. Assuming it's all true, that's awful. Sorry to hear that, Chef P. But what the fuck does that have to do with Dave's Gourmet? If they really stiffed you on a bad deal, it's not like they somehow took all of your money away. Where did the money go? 
She got a big payday in order to just sign with Dave's Gourmet. How the fuck did it all fizzle up? Appreciate the 10, Alyssa. Hope you had a good night. And Ann Boo. Yep, I know about murder drones. Talked about that a few times, actually. And I don't know what chair this is. I don't know if they come together, Daniel. I'm actually not sure. That's a good question. They should if they don't, though. I'll have to double check. I know we talked about that at one point, but I don't know if it ever went live. Thanks, Andrew. Would I make my own sauce? No, man. I can hardly cook at all. Last thing I would want to do is make a sauce. Oh, appreciate that, Tyler. Thank you. Charlie, put on the glasses. You got it. Welcome, dork. Whoa, she wants 100k. Oh, I didn't even notice that! Wait, what? 921 raised of a 100k goal. Holy shit. What the fuck? Wow, Chef P. Goodness gracious. That's... That's a, that's a big one. That's a big old load of barnacles there. That's <laughs> really aiming for the stars. Has a GoFundMe ever raised that, like, on purpose? Usually the ones that pop off are the ones that people make for others in the event of a crisis. 